like science fiction happening here. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't stand it. <laughs> just, I mean, this is just ridiculous looking at this thing, like standing there. It, it does, it seriously looks like something from the 1950s. It looks like something Werner von Braun would have come up with in one of his drawings that he did for like Disney or something. Oh man, can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs> Whew. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. <laughs> My Discord channel's going crazy. I can't type, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm seeing what you guys are doing, but I can't type back because I've got all this stuff set up. So. <laughs> Gosh, 523,000 people are watching this right now. This is a test flight. <laughs> This is like, I imagine if like Chuck Yeager or somebody was trying to break the sound barrier in the Bell X-1 and there was half a million people watching him at that moment. That's just absolutely crazy to imagine that they're doing this kind of stuff because it's at that level of insanity that they're trying to do here. There's like no more... Um, anonymous or anonymity yeah there's no more anonymity in this at all they're just so in the public eye i think i've seen everyday astronaut what about it space eccentric um lab padre boca chica gal i mean <laughs> it's just offhand i can think of five or six sites that are streaming this live right now with over a hundred thousand views viewers each it's just crazy and then there's a half a million uh people watching on on the spacex channel so it's just crazy oh gosh one minute and 15. <laughs> I love the sunset view, but I was really enjoying the view from inside the, uh, where you can see the rocket engine. So that was cool. A lot of venting going on. Three, two, one, one minute. One minute. Oh gosh, they got the tenths of seconds counting now. Uh, here's hoping three times a charm. I can't stand it. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, here we go. <sighs> Actually, it looks like, I think the last, uh, the earlier one today was a range violation. It sounded like that's what it was. It may have been a boat, which is just silly, but hopefully they've got that taken care of. It sounds like the range is okay. I think I'm hearing some sort of siren. We're at 30 seconds. Oh gosh, oh gosh, here we go. My dog's excited too. She even showed up. Oh gosh. <laughs> They're not showing the inside of the rocket. That's a shame. I was, I was looking forward to that. 15 seconds. <clears throat> oh gosh, it might actually, it may happen this time. They said go for flight. Seven, six, five. Oh, oh gosh, is it gonna happen? Oh my gosh, there's flame. There's flame. Holy crap, it's rising. It's actually going up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's going up so slowly. It's so ponderous. Holy crap, I cannot believe this is happening and it hasn't blown up yet. Oh my gosh. This is a major win for SpaceX, period, because they didn't blow up their launch pad. Wow, look at those views. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Wow. It just looks like it's, it looks like it's hardly even moving, but it's getting up there now. It's starting to finally get some altitude. I have no idea how long the rocket burn is. I don't know if it's like a minute or, holy crap. This is science fiction. Oh, oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Look at that Southeastern Texas coastline. That is beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh, the rockets are barely gimbling. I'm seeing them gimbal just a tiny bit, but not that much. Wow. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it, baby. You got this. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I have no idea. I mean, they're still burning. They're at a minute and a half. This is a long burn. Wow. I have absolutely no idea how long this thing's gonna burn for. We've got to be getting close to 10. We've got to be, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it's, I think it's, uh-oh, uh-oh. We've had a flame out on one of them. One of the Raptors died. 
Oh no, we're getting fire. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, it looks like the fire went out, so that's good. But we've only got two raptors left. Oh shit. Oh, we're at two minutes. I have no idea. I, I have no idea if it's still going up or not. I think it is. Okay, so we lost a raptor. I have no idea what that means for the landing sequence. It could be really bad. <laughs> this is definitely, I think, at least in a flight-wise, this is the longest a raptor has ever lasted. Wow, how long is this going to keep burning? 222. I mean, I have no idea. I have no idea. It's still burning. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> Only two raptors going. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Come on, it's got to stop burning at some point. How far up is this thing going? I knew it was raising really slowly, but dang. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, this is going to be quite the splashdown or when it comes down. Wow. Come on, baby. Keep going. Keep going. I really, really wish I knew. I wish they had like a little ticker that was saying how high they were. Gosh, they've got to be, I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's just got to be over 10K, maybe not. Oh, shh. I think it's just, uh, oh, no, there's only one engine left. Oh, no, there's only one. Oh, shh. <laughs> it's not good. I have no idea. That can't be intentional anymore. This is really not good if they only have one engine left. Uh, I have no idea. It looks like it's in a really weird orientation, too. Ugh, I have no idea. I guess they've gone out of the ocean so they can bail. I have a feeling they're thinking, like, this is not going to go very well, so let's get out over the ocean a little bit first. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I, I have no idea. It doesn't look like it's actually really rising anymore, because if you look at the smoke that's coming off the back in the larger view, it's not really going down very fast. It's just kind of coming out. So it looks like, it looks like, I have no idea. I think it might be falling again, actually. It is really hard to tell. What is happening? This is definitely not like any rocket launch I've ever seen before in my life. It's kind of just like, eh, it's just barely hanging in there. Holy crap, I, I have no idea. I guess, I guess it's still going. I mean, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That doesn't look good. There's a lot of smoke. Come on, baby. Uh, okay, the fins have tucked. The fins have tucked. Okay, it's okay. Oh, holy crap, it's just falling now. Oh my gosh, it's just this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I have never seen anything like this in my life. This is an absolute it's gonna be. Oh my gosh. This oh boy. Oh, oh crap. It's actually heading a little face down now. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> That was a that was a very weak let's call that a weak upper upper uh upper direction it was not exactly going balls to the wall or anything it was it was just barely hanging in there i have no idea i i'm assuming that they only have one raptor that still works at this point i have no idea if they'll be able to relight it or not but from the side views it's really cool because it obviously they're able to control the they're able they're, they're able to control what's going on this is incredible i mean really it's it's absolutely amazing it's like it's like an airplane flying or something i mean obviously like a skydiver but they've got control authority on it it is not spinning or falling out of the sky so now i guess we get to see what happens i guess we get to see what happens <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> oh wow it is falling fast i just went over to tim dodd's channel and looked and that thing is that thing is coming out of the sky real fast <clears throat> Holy crap. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You gotta... Gotta do the flip. You gotta do the flip. <laughs> it's like a giant tank falling from the sky. Wow. <clears throat> what in the world? Oh, wow, we're actually getting... We're getting arrow streamers. Come on, baby. Relight. Relight. Yes! All three relit. Oh my gosh, it's flipping! <laughs> yes! Oh, I can't believe it's freaking flipping! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Oh! <laughs> so close!
close. It's so close. <laughs> well, so what did I say about them saving their launching pad? I, I don't think they saved their launching pad. <laughs> oh, that may have been the most awesome rocket flight I have ever seen. It looked like it was out of control the whole time. But hey, they did the flip. They actually did the whole thing where they came down. They just didn't quite have enough thrust. I, I don't think those Raptors were putting out enough thrust. I mean, I, that seemed to be the big issue. It just was not doing very well. But, but damn, that was impressive. Holy crap. Huh. Wow. Wow. That, that, that was the most amazing thing I have ever seen. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless. I'm sorry. I'm just literally speechless. I have no idea what to say about that. That was that was unbelievable. Rolling to an now. <sighs> We're at this time. Wow. Incredible work, team. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they close out by saying they had an anomaly, as if the giant explosion that happened did not clarify that completely. Oh. Wow. Well, they they made it back to the landing pad. I mean, that's a good sign. That was really good. <laughs> well, we got everything. We got a liftoff. We got two engine failures. We got a belly flop. We got the flip maneuver. And we got a massive explosion at the end. So that was pretty darn awesome test. Congrats, Starship team. All right, I'm going to sign up. What can you say? All I can say is it looked like the rocket engines were really underperforming. They were doing a, they were really basically just kind of holding it. Maybe they had designed it that way. Maybe it was designed to go up and hover for a while. So it's possible that the two engines going out um, had were, was on purpose, right? So maybe what they were doing was they were taking it up to 12 kilometers, 12 and a half, and they were just kind of trying to hover there, and they figured it was easier to do that on one engine instead of three. So they kind of cut them out so they could see how it worked. And then the fall was amazing. I mean, the whole thing and the flip maneuver was brilliant. It just... It, it, they needed to be maybe 50 or 60 meters below sea level or maybe 100 meters below sea level. They needed another starship's length for it to slow down enough because I was like, oh, that's coming down real fast. But anyway, that was absolutely brilliant. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I had a blast. I really had a... I, that, was, that was amazing. Oh, and look at the carnage. Well, the launch pad actually survived amazingly well. That is impressive. There's, somebody's going to be doing some serious cleanup tonight. That's all I got to say. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was after the fact, but I don't have my live streaming stuff set up yet. So um, we're doing a little almost real-time thing. So I hope you had a fun with me. Uh, and maybe it's a different way of enjoying this later on tonight. So thank you. Till next time. Bye-bye. So just a super, super quick follow-up on the whole thing. So it's hard to tell whether they intentionally flamed out the two engines or not on the way up. It was very dramatic, whatever it was, and clearly they hovered for a long time. It may have been kind of an unintentional hover, or maybe that was intentional and they just wanted to test it out and see how it would react up there, or maybe set it up for the fall because it had kind of tipped over a little bit because it was only running on one engine at that point. But the fall back to Earth was fantastic. The light up of two engines, which again, I don't know if it was supposed to be two or three when it came down, but it looked like everything was going well <clears throat> until... Um, they got real close to the ground and then you can actually see that one of the engines flames out and then you can see it burning T-Teb or, oh gosh, Tetra or whatever that is, stuff. the hypergolic stuff, the green stuff that they use to um, light the engines. It looked like the engine was like just dumping all that stuff as much as it could to try to light another, um, another one of the engines to try to get it to stop. And it really came pretty close. It was not going that fast. I mean, maybe, I mean, obviously it was going fast, but maybe 30 or 40 uh, meters per second. So it wasn't outrageously fast, but you know, it made it back to the ground. Okay. It just kind of rapidly disassembled afterwards. So anyway, I think it's just fascinating. I think they did an absolutely stunningly good job. The fall was amazing. The flip over was incredible. I'm, I'm so stoked. I can't wait for a serial number nine because it's going to be an even cooler test at that point. Okay. Till next time. Bye-bye.